Franz Schubert spent much of his life trying to write a successful opera. There are several of them, and the complaint that seems to come back is that they are not dramatic enough. The irony here is that Schubert's music is dramatic, and in fact what he did for the German song, the lead, um, is enormously dramatic. He took a genre that had just been for voice accompanied by really a simple harmonic pattern by piano and created many dramas out of them. So in three minutes of one lead, Schubert can say as much as an operatic composer can say in an act. Die Schöne Müllerin is Schubert's first song cycle, and in fact it's one of the very first song cycles ever written. Schöne Müllerin is based on a series of poems by Wilhelm Müller. The story, in a nutshell, is that a young miller finds an old mill. There he finds employment, and he falls instantly in love with the beautiful young daughter of the old miller. The first several songs of this cycle are illustrative of the beginning of this love affair and the hope that the love that he feels towards her will be requited. But Tragedy is soon to follow in that there's the appearance of a third character, a hunter, who visits the mill. You hear the way the young miller feels about this very clearly in the song, Die Jäger. The miller has come to the realization that the fair miller's daughter is in fact in love with the hunter and not with him. There is perhaps no more tragic moment in this cycle than in the song Die Liebe Farbe, the favorite color. Somehow the miller has equated himself with the color white because he's covered in flour often and equated the hunter with green. The favorite color in this case is green and it means that he realizes that he will never be able to be that green. He will never be able to be that which she desires. And of course, this can come to no good. The remaining songs of the cycle are about finding solace in death. I think there is something in this cycle with which everyone who hears it can identify. From the euphoria of uh, the first blush of love to the heartbreak of realizing that the one you love loves another to the dejection of wondering whether one will ever find love. We've all been through it, and the way Schubert sets these songs, he really highlights elements which we ourselves might not have articulated. The final song, The Lullaby of the Brook, is a perfect strophic song. Strophic songs are songs that take the same musical material and apply it to different stanzas of the same poem. And for those of you out there who think that strophic songs are boring, I challenge you to listen to this song and, and repeat that conviction. Every time this music comes back, it is more and more powerful. It reaches in and somehow pulls you inside. It is at once consoling and heartbreaking. And by the time you get to the end of the fifth stanza, if you're not weeping, you might want to see somebody. <laughs>